fact or fiction? CLL, brought to you by the Patient Empowerment Network. Dr. Rogers, let's just get a brief overview of CLL and how it progresses. So um, I'm sure everyone already knows that chronic lymphocytic leukemia is a chronic blood cancer of a cell called the B lymphocyte. And uh, with the frequency uh, that people are getting blood tests these days in the United States, the most common way that I see people diagnosed with this at this time is actually just having an increased white blood cell count when they went to get routine blood counts. So it seems like the majority of people being diagnosed are diagnosed at a time when they're not actually having symptoms from the disease. And uh, maybe everyone already knows or not, but the way that's managed is that the disease is actually just monitored until some sort of uh, what I like to call problem from it develops. So I can, I'll go over what kind of what the problems are that can come along as the CLL progresses, but it's important to realize that there's many people uh, alive and living with CLL, doing very well and not having any problems from the disease yet. And I've seen a couple of people that have had this disease longer than I've been a doctor and one person that almost had this longer than I've been alive with no problems from it. So developing something from CLL that's, that's going to need treatment is not universal. So as the, the for the majority of people though, uh, CLL over its natural history will go on to progress uh, to cause what I like to refer to as problems from it. Some people call them treatment indications. So when problems are developing is about the time you consider treatment before you get really sick from it. Um, and there's a couple main ways that the CLL can cause problems. One is that the CLL can build up in the places where those cells live, which is the lymph nodes. So people can get really big lymph nodes in their neck, you know, in their groin area, uh, sometimes inside the body causing problems. And uh, lots of people have small lymph nodes that aren't causing problems and that's okay, but if they become really big or problematic, then it's time to do something about them. Uh, the cells can also build up in the bone marrow. So the bone marrow produces all your healthy, normal blood cells that go into the blood and kind of have a life cycle in the blood. So if your bone marrow fills up with CLL cells, then you can't produce the regular healthy blood cells and it's time to do something about the CLL. Um, sometimes the white count can get really high and that's not always a reason to do something, but most people do see over the natural history of course of having CLL, their white blood cell count or their lymphocyte count increases. And there's not actually a firm number where you say, boy, you hit X number, it's time to treat this. Uh, but if the count is increasing rapidly, then usually you want to treat this before it increases so much that you develop uh, an issue from that. And then the last category of kind of things that happen uh, with CLL that's a problem from it are uh, kind of what we call constitutional symptoms. So this can be fatigue that's like limiting your activities. Like I take care of someone that was too tired to get his mail from his porch from the CLL. He's doing great now, um, but that would be a problem. Sometimes drenching night sweats or like an extreme weight loss. And I'm not talking about people that do Atkins diet and lose weight. I'm talking about people that are eating everything and losing weight just because of the CLL. And uh, the kind of reason this happens is that CLL is a cancer of B lymphocytes, which are immune system cells. So they can release some of the same chemical mediators that your immune system releases for infection. And that's what causes some of those symptoms. So kind of the main things that progress over the course of having CLL are increasing lymph nodes, uh, lowering of your healthy blood counts due to increasing CLL in the bone marrow. The white count can go up rapidly or people can develop uh, really uh, problematic uh, kind of constitutional symptoms from it. Mm -hmm.